squawk squawk fellow sorrowers um yeah I, it's been a while since i've done a face-to-face -face video but i felt the matter at hand that i want to address in this one is um necessary for you to look into my eyes and um I would say hopefully feel what I feel um, in terms of what I'm going to get into but at the same time I don't want you to feel what I felt today. But, but I do believe you'll understand it which is why I'm making this video so first of all yes I have cut some of my feathers off <laughs> uh, Joy fucking hates it <laughs> she hates it um, but I just, I don't know, um, I think it was psychological. It's made me feel fresh, new, clean. Um, yeah, went for a bit of an undercut. So this is the new sorrow for now. Um, yeah, so this video or the nature of it, is in regards to returning back to work for those of you that have or will soon enough because we all have to unfortunately um i returned today first day back after about four months i won't say where i'll tell you what i do but i won't say where for the obvious um to safeguard myself so i don't lose the job because uh, it leaves uh, a very fucking sour taste in my mouth to say this but unfortunately money uh, leads to means at least at the moment has done for a long time and I'm trying to get as much together as I can so that I can uh, get joy where she needs to be where she deserves to be which isn't where she's at, at the moment um to the point this is a, a warning um to stay aware because to stay aware of course won't scare um i had the training course today first day back i told you i'd tell you what i do i'm a housekeeper um so it's just in the rooms you know um, become second nature after a while and I can always listen to other truth researchers whilst I do it so um, in that sense is the best job that I've had so I can just switch off you know um, but yeah we had a, a two-parter induction training day today today and tomorrow being the last of it um, in regards to the COVID year shit as those of you that have returned to work would know because you've probably gone through it too. So it's two days of full COVID-19 training, which is one thing I can get my head around that. As I've said before, I do believe that um, this ain't a COVID video, by the way. I don't want to go down that route. I know a lot of people do, and there's others that I know that cover it better. Um, but from my own research, I do believe that, um, that the COVID-19 thing is um something you can contract um but i certainly don't believe for a second and nor should you because all the proofs are right there in front of you that it is what they're telling you it is okay it will only hurt you as much as the common flu you've got a, a, a low immune system it's going to hurt you more right same for young humans old humans immune systems lowered and they're trying to lower it with the ones that like you and I that have a higher immune system, they lower it by focusing our attention on it and upon it. Um, there's a saying that um, one of the researchers I study, uh, he uses a lot, which is, if I get this right, always give credit where it's due, this isn't mine. Um, um, energy goes where attention, no. No, hang on. 
energy flows where attention goes and it's true and that's where they want us fixed on this fear tactic to lower the vibrations which in turn will lower our immune system as i said before covid from what i've researched myself stands for covert operation to vaccinate identify and depopulate the 19 stands for one being a nine being i because it is an ai thing this is a transhumanism thing yeah um it's also 19 or 91 well 91 is the left hand path this is all deliberate all of it um i don't want it to be about this this is as i say meant to be more of a warning to those of you that are returning to work and um and who are going to um, be exposed to the same indoctrination brainwashing and psychological operational system that i was today in my training so where everyone else was taking notes on what to do and what not to do you know um only based on fear anxiety and paranoia i took my own notes in my dead dandelion <laughs> journal so i'll try and make it as fun as possible i'm going to read a few out to you okay so before i start i will just say that the ones that made these quotes are team leaders doing their job and following the guidelines that will keep the place open so that they can do their job and earn money in that sense yeah they are organic portals they are npcs they are empty seaters they are human prison bars but i don't hold this against them i just want to um give you an example of how hypnotized the average public are and how hypnotized they are going to try to uh make you but i am sure that the ones listening to this are susceptible the truth but not lies so here we go as i say i don't hold this towards the ones that said it you know we had a few as as i'm sure you have to team leaders and and they you know they're not their fault they don't they just don't know any different i used to blame them i used to think you fucking idiots wake up how can't you how can you not see this shit that's it's they have responsibility to see but they don't have the wisdom so in that sense i mean at some point i'm sure you didn't i certainly didn't and then boom your pineal gland awakes right this hasn't none of this here we go so here are some of the quotes i heard in my training today for my job so all brack where yeah and stick stick to the left so keep to the left when you walk through corridors and whatever okay fair enough think left and you'll be fine so they're politicizing the mindset of us workers okay moving on we must follow what the government tell us because that's what they are telling us to do wow well, everyone's shaking their heads clapping that's the rationale to that we must follow what the government tell us because that's what the government are telling us to do is that enough for you is that enough for you with everything through history that they've done to divide us and to destroy us is that enough for you because it's not enough for me <sighs> they kept saying there's no place like home which i found to be very close to um the political statement and uh now catchphrase that's been said over and over on the bbc news that you know i cover many a time no place like home very similar to stay at home don't you think don't you know you know so no place like home in itself is wizard of oz 
MK Ultra programming, isn't it? On a basic level, they don't know what they're doing. These team leaders I saw today they didn't know. I know they didn't know. Someone did, and someone told them without them knowing, and told us without us knowing to go straight into your fate wave, straight into your fucking subconscious. Yeah. There was also um, no relevance. This is the point. There was no relevance, which makes it stand out even even more. Um, there were certain groups uh, of workers, team leaders that had celebrated coming back to work by dressing up as characters from Wizard of Oz, in particular Dorothy. And the ones didn't dress up like Dorothy were all male. So there you have your sissy programming, yeah, your drag programming. They didn't make us do it, but I've got a feeling they're going to try to tomorrow. So I don't know how long I'm going to be there for that training. Um, next quote. There is nothing... Okay, there is... There was one team leader who was talking about his son. Okay, and he was saying, this is what his son has been doing. He said, there is nothing wrong with locking yourself away and not wanting anyone to come near you. Out of choice, there's nothing wrong in doing that. But by telling, you know, 100 people sitting here today along with myself in this huge hall being trained, what have we been trained for? Because we've all been there long enough to know how to do our jobs, right? Yeah, they're training us up, all right. So that, of course, is advocating fear, anxiety and paranoia, as I stated at the beginning of the video. Next one. Every passing day, we have been waiting for, this is all word by word, every passing day, we have been waiting for what the government is going to say next. In a sense, that's true, right? You and I have been waiting to see what the next lie is, what the next psyop is. But the way they said this, they mean literally hanging on to every word, you know. But, uh, as I said, it's not their fault, but they are the sheeple. And I had to sit there with everything that I've learned and hopefully taught in the past, I think it's roughly three months, because I started my channel um, three or four days into the lockdown, because I had the time to do so, and the settings felt fitting. Um, I had to sit there. With all that wisdom that I've learned and been taught by all of you, you know who you are. And I could have spoke up. I mean, I, I kind of did. They social distanced all the tables with people on four on each table. No one sat with me. Don't mind. It's fine. But one, one, one young kid did. One young kid sat next to me. And asked me what I'd been up to. And I was just honest. And I said, well, you know, I made my own channel. Finally, I've been wanting to do it for a long time. Um, I hate the word conspiracy. I mean, the trick is in the name con conspiracy. Um, it's a trick word like Illuminati. Um, you know, it make people go, you, you're a fucking nutcase. So, but I used it to try and cut the corners a bit. And I said, well, you know, I'm fighting the conspiracy. So he's like, oh, fucking, so am I. Wow, what what kind of stuff do you do you cover? So I, I went for it and I you know, I tried to, to teach the bloke saying and um he listened, he really did. He even asked for, you know, my channel name. So I, well I've, I've you know, you got a new sub and all that. <laughs> it was very cool, very sweet. Um but nonetheless, um I really I had to bite my lip to the point where it basically bled and wanting to, you know, question these quotes that were being given out. Some of them were um, scripted. So, you know, by the sentiment of a script, it's given out for you by someone else, as I said before, someone higher, right? But a lot of them, the ones I've been reading and we'll carry on to in a moment, were just, you know, um, straight from the heart and the head of the person speaking. 
and that's what really made me sad. Usually it made me mad, but it didn't. It made me sad 